Okay, folks, it's the time to see some of the problems of the API 570. I'm having a, a, just an example in here. Given in the problem is that uh, the pipe, uh, the piping system installed in the 2008 and uh, the uh, initial thickness that's as they installed and they wanted to keep their records for uh, thickness measurements is 0.475 inches it means when the pipes gone to the operation they've uh, done a thickness measurements on a one cml and then recorded that and the value was this value 0.475 inches five years later in 2013 after this uh, the piping system is gone to the service they made the thickness measurement at the same cml and they got the thickness of the 0.45 inches and then after the 10 years in 2018 they made another measurements and they got 0.4 inch and uh, based of their review on the uh, on the operation we realized that the flow velocity increased between the 2013 to the 2018 so that's why you can see we are having a, a jump in the corrosion rate from the 2013 to the 2018. By the way, uh, the, another information that we got from the uh, uh, documents in from the installation time, that's the minimum thickness based on the Barlow formula is 0.3 inches, and minimum structural thickness, required thickness is 0.25 inch. It means the pipe required 0.25 inch to hold itself, either because of the weight and the fluid inside the weight of the fluid inside or wind earthquake all of these things that the design engineer normally calculates that and says okay i need a 0.25 inch uh, to resist against all of these uh, loadings so we are having this information and the design pressure as a low pressure system is a 50 psi and our design temperature is 200 degree fahrenheit our pipe is 24 inch NPS nominal pipe size and uh, it's an insulated pipe and it's in a good condition based on the inspection being performed on 2018 and it's categorized as a class 2 pipe which is the most uh, you know hydrocarbons pipe is on class 2 based on the API 570 so based on the uh, this information the the question is that what is the long-term corrosion rate and uh, what is the remaining life? What is the short-term corrosion rate and what is the half-life? What is the inspection interval and what is the insulation removal, uh, removal percentage for making a um, thickness measurement or visual inspection uh, after removal of the insulation. So we want to solve this problem based on the requirement of the API 570. We're going to start with the long-term corrosion rate. Based on the, uh, uh, the API 570, how we can calculate the long-term corrosion rate is that we, you know, uh, actually put in here our original thickness the thickness that we had the, from the first day when we put this uh, piping system in the service which was a point 47.5 inches and to the current thickness we made a, a measurements on 2018 this is a base of the 2018 information 0.4 inch was our current um, uh, thickness and then how many years between them between the installation and 2018 is a 10 years we put on the denominator so this is our numerator which is going to be t actual sorry the t original minus the t actual to the actually the year between then i'm we're going to get the 0.0075 inch which is if i multiply to the 1000 is going to be 7.5 mils per year or mpy and then uh, the question asking us to calculate short term uh, corrosion rate. So for short term corrosion rate, I'm going to the, uh, the last one is the 2018 and the one previous of the last one is going to be in 2013. So our original thickness this time is going to be 0 0.45 inch minus our current thickness is going to be 0 0.4 
and uh, the years between 2018 to the 2013 is going to be five years and then i'm going to get the corrosion rate of the 0.01 inch which is equal to the 10 MPY if I multiply to the 1000. So you can see our short term corrosion rate is a 10 MPY and our long term is 7.5 and it's current. Actually, we are having the more corrosion on 2013 to the 2015 to sorry, 2018 because of the you know high flow velocity, which is going to cause uh, a kind of erosion corrosion in our piping system. Now we want to calculate the remaining life based on the formula, uh, formula in API 570 uh, in the 7.1.1 also these are in the 7. Point, these are the 7.11 and this is 7.12 and then it gives us a formula there which it says for calculation of the remaining life you need to uh, you know uh, calculate in this way that this is going to be your current thickness and this is your minimum required thickness. So I'm having two values for minimum required thickness. As I show in here, one of them is 0.3, which is, this is the amount of the thickness is calculated by the Barlow formula, which is the required wall thickness that to resist against internal pressure. It's the design, uh, internal pressure uh, design thickness. And the other one is a structural thickness. It means we are needing this amount of the wall thickness there for loadings or for you know the, the, the pipe handle itself. Like when we're putting on the structure, weight it should shouldn't be sagging and or uh, resist about its own weight and fluid inside. So we're gonna get the one is the higher than the other one. So in uh, based on the requirement of the API 570. And 574, we have to get the 0.3 inches because this is, is a greater than 0.25 inch. So our minimum required thickness is going to be 0.3. So I'm going to consider a corrosion rate in here. I have a short term, I have a long term. Uh, sorry, I have a long term, I have a short term and see which one is higher. I'm going to take that one. So currently I'm having a um, 10 MPY which is going to be the same 0.01 inch I'm putting in here. So my remaining life is 10 years and half life is going to be five years. So this is about the, our, uh, the answer to the question about the uh, long term corrosion rate and short term corrosion rate and remaining life calculation. And then it's asking us what is going to be in inspection interval. For an inspection interval, we're going to the uh, actually the clause number six. And the clause number 6.3.3 is provides us some information. It says, you know, you calculate the half uh, half life, and then compare with the table one values and take the one which is shorter. So my half life is five year, and I go uh, for table one. There's a two columns over there. One of them for the UT thickness measurement, and the other one for visual inspection. First UT thickness measurement. It says ten years. My half-life is five years. Which one is less? Five years is less. So I take five years for UT thickness measurements. And for a visual inspection of the piping system for a class two, these are for a class two because the problem says to us, our piping system is a class two. So if you go to the table one, first you have to go and, and read the line is about the class two. And for uh, Visual inspection, we don't compare with anything. It's just we read the value from the table one. And the table one says for a class two pipe, you have to make a visual inspection on each five years. So both are five years. We can go and make a visual inspection at the same time, make a thickness measurement. So our VT, visual uh, examination or visual testing, is going to be in a five years. And then it's asking us how many percentage of the insulation should be removed for inspection. Actually, we are having a clause on 6.4. It says that if there is a no so, you know, suspected area, is there is a no uh, record from the previous inspection that uh, shows that there's any active inspection might be uh, on the, under the insulation or is a very co good coating system. Uh, you know, beneath of the 
uh, installation, then it might not be necessary to remove, uh, you know, the installation for inspection. There's a no reason to remove if you are uh, sure about the coating uh, that's uh, applied on a pipe uh, before the installation, and also there's a no, uh, you know, suspected area or damaged area. So this is addressed on. As per 6.4, there's a phrases over there that mention these things. So based on that, the, we don't need to remove any insulation based off the uh, the 6.4 that we mentioned in here.